us. Heather told us we had to take video today. So we're <laughs> taking video and we are gonna be putting in the tug and groove ceiling today. Yeah, what did we do so far? We cut these. Reflectix yeah. insulation, just kind of really thin, kind of lightweight insulation, just to kind of help hold some heat in back here a little bit more it's is all. It's just kind of gonna be in here between the ceiling and there, not like really there at all, just kind of there. What else we do? My dad put what is it? This too. I don't know exactly. It's called conduit. Conduit? Yep. So and it's gonna run along the rib here. It's for all the wires to go through. So then in the future, if we ever want to run wires from one side to the other, we just thread them through this, this conduit tube and over to there. So the back of the bus ceiling is basically done, just except for a small sliver I gotta add tomorrow, but the skylights are all done. You can see they just need to be uh, finished out with some, you know, trim and whatnot around the inside and everything. And that's the ceiling. Looking good, looking good. It's not hot today, but it's humid because it's raining and we're working inside the bus, so we can't have all the windows open because it's raining. But I'll show you what we're working on. So here's where all of our wiring comes through the wall. This is all of our AC wiring, DC wiring, and then this is our main solar positive and negative to the panels. It'll go through the floor here. I'm gonna open up this hole more and put some conduit in, and then it's gonna go down into the battery banks where the charge controller and stuff will be. And it all goes up this wall and through here. AC wiring, AC wiring, DC wiring, solar wires that go up through the roof. And they come in like somewhere around in here and down. And so then all this wiring will run in these channels up and down the side of the bus. And you can see we're putting the walls in and then we're going to work on this side after lunch. And that's it. Time to walk in in the rain.
I have been working pretty nonstop on the weekends. This is the first weekend that I get to be home, which means video time. So that'll be nice because Mike and the girls have not been able to take a whole lot of video. So hopefully we will be able to get you a new video this weekend. I am sitting in the soon to be area of the girls bunk area. So we've got the ceiling in, we've got the windows covered, we're hoping that it'll be really, really dark so they actually sleep in. And we have cats that keep trying to sneak in over there. Oh, she ran out before I got her. But we are definitely getting some progress done, and by we I mean Mike because I've been gone. <laughs> and to this weekend, and I just woke up, but I'm not ashamed of that, people, I'm not a morning person. And this weekend we are working on trying to install the flooring, which is kind of a yay and a nay. The yay is that we'll get the flooring in. The nay is that we can't walk on it for like a day, which makes it feel kind of like we won't be getting very much done. But the awesome part is that that means the next step after the floor is pretty much walls and furniture. So that's really, really exciting. So back to it. All right, what is that thing that you're working on? Uh, it's a hole. <laughs> yeah, it's a hole, but tell the people viewing what it's for. That's where the fuel sending unit is and the top of the tank is. So the fill tube that goes from here to here is there and everything like that. So if we ever have problems, because like rubber hoses deteriorate over time, right? So if we ever have problems where when we fuel, we end up with leakage out of that tube, I can still get in here and replace it. Whereas mm -hmm. if if I don't add this access port, I'll have I'll have to drop the whole gas tank in order to get to that portion right. of it, and the gas tank holds a lot of fuel. Right. And fuel weighs like eight pounds a gallon. So what are you attempting to do? Because we don't want that metal thing anymore. So what are you trying? I'm to making do? a square hole the same size as this plate, and then I'm going to make a piece of wood with uh, uh, insulation underneath it and a hinge so that it will open up that. Like a piano hinge? Uh-huh. Cool. Yep. And then this little strip. Tell us why there's this little strip here that's not done. Uh, like all the wiring one. will go in this strip, okay? Uh, just like behind you. All the wiring will go in this strip. See how I've secured it with these little holders right here? And then that way the wiring goes down through the bottom and out the walls wherever it came out. Uh, and then there'll be a piece of finished plywood that'll go over this and it'll hang over this lip maybe an inch or so. And then the LED light strips will sit in this ridge. So we'll have some ambient lighting on the roof. <laughs> some dance floor lighting. They change colors. There's what's called a plunge cut. I've set my depth so that I don't go below too far and hit the metal. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up on my line here and I'm gonna plunge it in. Cause I can't start like outside of the bus or anything, you know? All right, it's gonna be windy. <laughs> so I have an idea. We gotta cut this down to like, like 94 inches and that gives us like three or four inches of overlap on each side but once we lay it out we got to cut that whole thing all the way down the side but if i take my sawzall and i just chop it off oh at the my. right distance then we can cut it all at once or this could go horribly <laughs> Veil it. Dun 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 section that we've done has been the most pain in the butt. Uh -huh. That's what 
happens when you're working on your bus and you realize the neighborhood cow's gotten in your yard. Pretty much down and it's getting dark not bad not bad oh. <laughs> working out 